All right, what's shaking, everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are all having yourselves a fantastic day. Finally uploading a video here on Call of Duty Vanguard. I know I'm a little late. However, I actually wanted to play this beta all the way through just to get a good idea of what this game is like and showcase it for you guys better. When a new COD beta comes out, I'll typically push out a video on it right away. And I'm not gonna lie, I tend to be a little bit of an optimistic person. I'm in my honeymoon phase. I talk everything good about the game and none of the bad. So this time around, I actually wanted to give myself some time and reflect on what I just played tell you guys all about the good tell you guys all about the bad but I do got some gameplay that I recorded here so I'm gonna start off with that and then I'll see you guys at the end with some of the best shots that have been hit on the beta with my overall thoughts as well so I hope you guys do enjoy let's get right into the video all right we're starting things off here on Gavutu this map is actually so sick it reminds me as if Cove and Crisis had a baby but there's trick shot spots all around the map you can go off this boat here there's some high spots over there pretty much the whole map has trick shot spots all right it's last look at my man jay over there all the way on top of that cannon he's down there can i climb up from here oh let's go i love how you can pretty much get on top of everything on this game Ooh, that backdrop be nasty all right actual show me what you got okay well hit him with the backdrop NECA, right now Okay, he's hitting it with the fat emo. I like it. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That was such a good attempt. Let's go off here again. Damn, dude. I jumped into the suey, but that would have been sick. Not only can you trick shot on that side of the map, but you can trick shot on this side of the map as well. You can run up on top of this palm tree. He's just hanging out over there. Perfect. The mechanics of this game are pretty much identical to Modern Warfare. Although I gotta say, the maps are just so much better. He's hanging out right there. Let's try switching up the combo here. Oh, I hit! Oh, oh that was so no sick. way! That was oh crazy. Crazy. Not, That was Holy so shit. fucking dope. Yeah, Holy was shit, it's the attachments, bro. Shit. Oh my oh god. god. That no. was fucking oh, sick. Oh, what? Bro. That was so shit. nice. Are you fucking kidding Dude, me? What the fuck? Now we're playing on this map, Red Star. This map is incredible, man. Look how open it is. And you can pretty much climb on top of everything on this map. I can get on these buses here. You can get on this wall. Oh, there he is. Ooh, I gotta let my supply crate come out more in my shot. Now that's what I'm talking about. Let that supply crate come out all the way. I should probably go for a different combo though here. Oh, there he is. Ooh, throwing the Molotov cocktail? Hold up, we gotta go to this spot over here. This spot's insane. Was oh, he up top? He is. If I ever, dude. Can't really oh, someone's here! No someone just here! Oh, 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 oh. Just yo! Oh! That's just hit. Oh, oh, this! Oh, oh my god, yes! Go, Where, what? Go, 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 go. Oh my oh. god, dude. <laughs> that, that attempt was right go. on. That literally should have hit. I, 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 <laughs> Nick, you're not alone. <laughs> I oh, what the oh, no, way? Oh, you hit? no way! No way, Talon! You hit a suey? Are you serious? Yeah, I hit a suey! Yo! Oh! Oh, let's Yo. go! Yo! Oh, oh, gosh, gosh, baby. Baby. Already, Talon? Oh, First my gosh! Oh, my gosh! Fuck yeah! No oh my god, oh my god. So we can only play for a few more hours here. However, there's actually a little glitch going on where we can play custom games on the beta. Unfortunately, it's only beta game mode, so we can't do free for all, which I really wanted to do. However, we can do 10v10 trick shot face off. So we're going to run some lobbies and hit a few shots for you guys. <laughs> I just hear Sean running up to the spot going, <laughs> <laughs> <so loud. laughs> Oh, You're I did it! Oh, you hit it! Oh, let's go! That's so, You're <laughs> You're that's so funny. Let's go. You got the little bayonet charge in here. Damn. Let's see this. Here it comes, here it comes. <laughs> oh, it's a good show. Ooh. You're a bitch. What is that? Snipe? Bro, that looks that. so cool. Ah, <laughs> like, oh, yes, finally. Some good fucking free throw. Oh! Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg! Snoop Dogg hit the bill? 
No Snoop way. Snoop Doggy Dog! This is gonna be lit. He smoked him. No way. <laughs> he just, oh, he just, yeah. oh! I just oh, turned yeah. into a pack, yeah, pal. Snoop Dog! I hit. What? I hit the auto map again. You hit and it was on me. You hit the auto map. Wait, on me. I was, I was no on way. the, I was, I don't know where I'm, I was on the corner. Oh, I out of the doing? fucking map? What? I was, I wasn't across. Yeah. Dude, that was nuts. <laughs> that That's actually my second went crazy. Out of map. Oh, I hit again. Racer, hit no again? shot. That was big. Yeah, that was back to back games. Guy. It is serious. Oh my really god. That throwing knife animation. When is it my turn? Gonna shop for you guys. Oh, oh, oh! Let's see it. Let's go. Is it blue burger? Yeah. Oh yeah. my god! Oh my Ooh, god! That bouncing Betty had Ooh. some steez to it. The backwards slide at the end. So that was just some of the footage I captured on the game. We actually hit a ton more shots during that custom session. However, the kill cams are so short on this game that it actually cut out like half the trick shots. But that's a whole nother topic I'm gonna get into in a little bit. I actually did hit marker a shot online. I'll show you guys that right now. I just fucking hit marker! I was not happy about that one. That would have been a cool spot to hit to, too. But I actually wanted to take a moment and look at some of the best shots that were hit throughout this beta. We're gonna do a little mini top plays here. All right, moving things over to the other monitor so we can watch these shots. We're starting things off with Style, and you're gonna see where he gets his name from. Look at this shot right here. That was beautiful with the faking into the pistol glitch. Dude, I really hope that pistol glitch doesn't get patched when the full game comes out, because that looks so sick, swapping between hands. Look at that. That was a beaut. Had to open up with that one. That was my favorite shot that anyone hit. I actually really like the style of that shot. It definitely wasn't the best shot, but it was my favorite one. Now, this is a banger. This might be the best shot from Scandal here. Wait till you guys see this. He's going to smoke my man up over there, and then he's just going to disrespect him. That was... Oh, dude, that was insane. Whipping out the equipment at the end, too. That looked so clean. Let's watch this one more time here in the kill cam. It plays quick, so don't blink. Look at that, hitting him way back there. That was beautiful, good shit on hitting that scandal. But now we got my man Talon playing here on Gavutu and he's got the M1 Grand out. This was actually the only trick shot I saw with the M1 Grand. Look at this man, does the invisible gun glitch. I have no idea how you do that, but that's what he titled it, invisible gun glitch. So I guess that's what that was. I gotta definitely get on these glitches, man. People are doing these pistol glitches. There's the C4 glitch, this invisible gun glitch here. It seems like there's a lot of cool gun glitches on this game, but that was sick. Hit the guy out of the flamethrower suit. He just fucking blew up. It looked like he had EB. But now we are gonna be moving things along back to Red Star. Most all these shots are gonna be on either Gavutu or Red Star. These maps are fire. I hope I'm saying that one map right gavutu but anyways my man's on top of this sick ass spot here on these sandbags and he's gonna spot the guy running mid and hit this crazy backdrop here over the top of the sandbag shot right over that i love that when you just shoot over a wall or something it looks so sick and he does the c4 glitch i gotta figure out how to do that man i didn't play a lot of modern warfare i didn't have a good gaming pc back then didn't really enjoy playing that game on console, but it's like a whole different game on PC, the MW engine. So I'm really enjoying Modern Warfare 2019 and this game as well, playing the beta. It's so nice. But now we're back on Gavutu. Wait till you guys see this one. Hit some deep back there. That was so distant. That was crazy. From Vex, let's watch just one more time here in the kill cam. So much distance on that. That was crazy. Most of these clips have hyped up reactions from the six man as well, which you love to see. But now we are back on Red Star going back and forth here. Oh, this shot is so sick. He's gonna spot the guy way back there. Do a little aim in, double reload, hit him all the way across the map there and then celebrate with the needle. Personally, not how I like to celebrate, but to each their own. And uh, <laughs> look at this though. No, on the real though, that field upgrade after the shot actually looks so sick. That is so dope. I gotta get on that wave, man. Here's another shot where my man whips out the field upgrade after the shot. It looks so cool. Watch this right here. He stuns the guy. He's gonna swap to the pistol, smack him, and then pull out that ammo crate at the end there. It looks so nice. Let's watch this one more time here in the kill cam. Woo! 
Hits him all the way back there to the bomb. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get on that. I gotta start doing that after my shot. It is weird, man. I'm too used to either just doing a silent shot, a reload, a swap. Look at that, though. We got another pistol glitch shot here. Kind of like this one. Did a little aiming in the middle of it, too. Watching it one more time here in the kill cam. This one was a little close, but I liked it. I liked the shot he did. It looked really cool. But I was talking about reactions earlier. Wait till you guys hear the reactions on this clip, man. This clip is just nuts. We got Jaden here climbing up on the wall. He's gonna just randomly go for this and wall bang. I don't even know who he hit. This is so fucking random. He's going crazy too. <laughs> I'd be going crazy too if I hit some shit like this. Like how? How do you hit some shit like that, man? <laughs> I can't get over these reactions, man. Alright, now we got one last clip here from Jinsu. This one's in private match, and I had to grab it off Twitter. He wasn't able to send me the full quality version. So it's a little pixelated, but I wanted to show you guys this one just because it's a cool-ass combo. He uses the bayonet in the middle of it. He's got the akimbos, does the C4 glitch. It kind of just shows the potential of some stuff you can go for on this game. So I wanted to show you guys that one. All right, so we played the game a little bit. We watched some clips. Let's talk about it. I guess we'll start with the bad before we get into the good. There is a lot more good than bad, I'd say. First thing you guys probably realized is that the kill cams are way too short. For some reason, they use the gunfight kill cams from Modern Warfare rather than using the normal kill cams. And this is really annoying because if you do more than a 720, it cuts off like half the trick shot. During the little custom session that I did, a lot of people hit trick shots that I couldn't even put in this video because you couldn't really tell what they did. And if it was a throwing knife trick shot, it didn't even show the trick shot itself at all. It just showed the throwing knife flying through the air. Another thing is that there is no, no falling damage perk. So if you jump off a high spot, you're just gonna die from falling damage which is really annoying in search and destroy probably won't be that much of a problem in free-for-all same thing goes for a fast swapping perk there's no perk where you can swap your guns faster however if you watch the gameplay footage it wasn't really a problem I didn't have like an issue putting together combos and stuff but it would be nice if I could swap a bit faster and I'm pretty sure I heard about more perks that are actually being added to the game that weren't in the beta so maybe we're gonna look out with that I don't know so that's pretty much all the bad news about the game but now let's get into the good with this game starting off with the maps as I was saying during my gaming session these maps are are fire especially Gavutu and Red Star those maps remind me of older Call of Duty maps something from like World at War or Modern Warfare 2 where you can actually climb up everything it's not all barriered off there was also that one Sui map as well I'm blanking on the name but that map wasn't too bad so so far out of the four maps we've seen three of them are good and we also have Castle and Dome which are confirmed to be remade which I am super stoked about I've always wanted those maps to be brought back I've actually tweeted about it multiple times so with those we have five confirmed maps which we know are going to be bangers and there's going to be 16 maps dropping on release this is actually the most content we've ever got on a call of duty release so let's hope to god those other maps are good they could all be ass i don't want to jinx it but you never know now this one is a little subjective but i personally like the mechanics of this game the trick shotting is a lot like ghosts or mw3 so if you're good at coming up with different trick shots to go for on those games you should have no problem playing this game what i really like about the mw engine is it actually feels really fluid it. it has a lot of flow to it, which is something that I didn't really feel in Cold War. Cold War felt extremely clunky to me. Despite there being knacks, insta swaps, all that, like, who cares about an insta swap if you have to use a field upgrade and it takes like a whole second? It's probably slower than actually P swapping. For those of you guys who haven't played this game, visually it can look a little clunky, but when it's in your hands, it feels silky smooth. So what's nice is both the maps and the mechanics are really good, which is something we've been missing in recent years. I'd say Cold War actually had some pretty good maps, but it had no kill cams and I really did not like the mechanics of that game. Some people actually did. I personally like the mechanics of Modern Warfare 2019. I did not like the maps on that game, especially at launch. I think the only good map at launch was Hackney Yard, which Hackney Yard's cool and all, but put that map on Modern Warfare 2 and it's not even that great of a map. It can't even compete with Skid Row. They ended up adding some better maps to that game later on, but there's so few and far in between of the bad maps that it's really annoying to play. I would say that the two maps from this beta, Red Star and Gavutu, are literally better than every single map in Modern Warfare 2019. Now, with that being said, 
there is a reason why year after year we end up going back to older Call of Duties and not giving these new CODs a chance. And the reality is when it comes to trick shotting, we're not going to get a COD better than Modern Warfare 2 or BO2 ever again. Which is why when it comes to a game like Cold War, why would we play Search and Destroy or Free For All in there when the maps aren't as good, the mechanics aren't as good, there's no final kill cams. The only thing going for it really is the active player base, which is why we kind of want to remaster of these older games so much. What I think Vanguard would need for me is some sort of different gaming experience that other games can not provide because like I said if I'm just playing some six-man S&D or some free-for-all I'd rather just go play an older game that's better however if there's something different about it then I might actually be wanting to play it all year and I think we're actually gonna get that this year with this new combat pacing feature so if you guys don't know what combat pacing is basically you have tactical which is normal 6v6 you have assault which is kind of more players it's like 10v10 12v12 and then you have blitz which is just putting as many people as you can on the map and they said they're actually doing this this for every single game mode which raises the question what does that mean for free-for-all if you guys didn't know free-for-all has been the same on call of duty since the very beginning it's always been eight players and we've never had a different free-for-all experience than that so this might actually be the first call of duty ever that we're gonna have higher player count ffa which i'm so stoked for especially in recent years because i feel like the maps have gotten bigger and bigger on call of duty and it's a lot harder to get the last so this is gonna make it so much better if it is in the game one thing I actually like about Sledgehammer vs Infinity Ward or Treyarch is they try a lot of different shit. I actually really like the 1v1, 2v2, and 3v3 Champion Hill game mode they added to this game where it's like a gunfight tournament. In fact, I was actually able to play that game mode in custom games and I came up with a little series idea right off the bat which is like a battle royale trick shot face off. Basically what we do is we make it one life minuscule health we get our class loadouts going and then we do a little 1v1 trick shot face offs until everybody is eliminated uh me and splash me and i called Sean. it i wow. called it all, all right, right shit moves. Oh. all right Sean. oh what oh my god no you way. motherfucker <laughs> right away oh oh my god no. Unfortunately, I only had the custom game settings for a few hours at the end of the beta, so I wasn't able to make that series, but you best believe I'm going to be making that on day one of release. But yeah, overall, I'm super excited about this game. Let me know down below in the comments how you guys feel about it. I'm going to wrap up the video here. I do apologize for being so late with this. Anyways, guys, it's been Sean. I want you all to stay shaking. I'm out. Peace.